Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about big money plush, um, but not just any big money plush. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. We are going to talk about plush that is exclusive. And why they go for more? Well, that's kind of obvious. So let's check it out here. And I am going to be showing you solds on Mercari. And this is a sugar push pushing, I think is how you say it, lollipop, new with tags. Now, this one is extremely rare. Um, it says a collector's must-have item. And I'm trying to find out where it was exclusive to. It says it's sugar exclusive, 2015 edition. So I don't know. I don't know what makes this one exclusive. Maybe they didn't make as many. But usually when I think of exclusive, I'm like, ex oh, it's gunned. Are Pusheen all gunned? Maybe it's exclusive to gunned. I don't know. Uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. This one is a super rare Fred Bear Sand She uh, collectible plush. And again, exclusive Sand She. So that's what makes this one special. Um, let's go back to the Pusheen. This sold for $800 plus shipping. Now it did. Um, it sold in 22, March of 22, and it was listed in 8 of 21, 8, 11 of 21. So it did take a long time to sell. But, you know, sometimes you just have to wait for the right buyer, especially when you price your plush that high. This one here was only listed for three days. And I don't know what San Shi means, but if any of you do know, definitely be on the lookout for this super rare plush Sold for seven hundred and fifty on Poshmark, or I'm sorry, on Mercari. Uh, Kitty, kitty, kittens. Apparently, they have an, a UK exclusive, and look how cute this is. It's yellow. If you guys don't know, these kitty, kitty kittens are a big money bolo, no matter what. But apparently, this one says UK exclusive. I'm not really sure how to know what, that it's a UK exclusive because the tag doesn't say anything about the UK. Uh, it says, this is on hold, please do not buy. Very rare. Uh, sold is, uh, I don't know. No air, no belly air. So there's the bag, it makes no sound. So it's even defective. But I don't know how to know if it's a UK exclusive. If anybody knows, please let me know down in the comments. Uh, this one sold for $690 on Mercari. These are all Mercari sales. Um, I recently did a Build-A-Bear Big Money Bolo, and one of the things that I found in that video was that these St. Louis Zoo Build-A-Bears are huge money. This one sold for $641. Go watch that Build-A-Bear video because you guys are going to be completely in shock. I'm just going to say that right now. Crazy. This is a Jack the Black Cat Squishmallow, one of 500 um, again, it's an exclusive. I'm going to say that it probably says something on the tag. I don't know how to know if it's one of 500, but if you see this guy, uh, definitely look him up. Okay. Select 500 series. So this is S 16 of 500. Uh, this is from 2020. This was listed on 722 and sold on 812 for $640. This is a Squishmallow, uh, hum, let's see, Cliff the Cow Sugarloaf Crane Game Exclusive. So this is a Crane Game Exclusive. How do I know that? I have no idea how they know that, but they do. And for some reason, it's important. And, you know, that's the one thing about learning about certain plush and just knowing what you have, because this one sold for $625. Um, it looks like it's from 2019. This was listed on 8-1 of 22 and sold on 8-6 of 22. So super fast sale. Definitely a big money bolo. $625 on that one. Rare Disney, uh, Kenai, 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 and Coda 
Jumbo Brother Big uh, Bear Plush. So they're from uh, Brother Bear. And these are exclusive, a Disney store exclusive, hard to find. And right here is the tag, which you can't really see. But look how cute this is. This sold for $600. Uh, look, it was listed on 1-6 of 23. And it sold on 127, so less than a month to sell. And you can see right there on the foot that it is an authentic build of air. I'm sorry, authentic uh, Disney store. Here's another St. Louis Zoo, $550. This I've never heard of, so I wanted to include it. It says San X Real uh, Kuma Tomo no Kai Exclusive Fan Club Plush Set. So I'm looking at this like I'm never going to find this. And you may be thinking the same thing. But here's the deal. This person may not have thought they were going to find it either. And they did. So this is either a collector selling their collection or somebody who found it in the wild and just got lucky. I'm thinking it's probably a collector. This is what the tag looks like. Whoops. Right here. So definitely keep that in mind. This sold for $450. It's exclusive fan club rainbow. Uh, so I don't know what fan club, it's some paid membership in Japan. So somehow somebody locally got a hold of this and it sold for crazy money. Here's another uh, St. Louis Otter, Build-A-Bear, 440. So that's the St. Louis Zoo again. Crazy. Here is a Thai Teeny Chaser. This is a Beanie Baby, you guys. $438 for this. And I'm like, Okay, I know on Poshmark, I mean, I'm sorry, I keep saying Poshmark. I know on Mercari that when an item says sold, it's sold. It's not like eBay where did they pay? We don't know if they paid. That's why I like to do my videos for uh, like research videos on Mercari because it seems like plush goes for more on Mercari. This was listed $721 and sold $827. It is a Japanese exclusive chaser. It says the hardest to find of all the chasers. They sell for eight to nine hundred on eBay. I'm asking for five. I'm asking five forty. And it looks like they sold it for four thirty eight. dollars um, That made me want to look at eBay, right? So I went over to eBay. And this one, is this the I don't know what this one actually is. It looks different than these, but let's just look at some of the chasers. Um, UK exclusive, Japan exclusive, 500 scratched out. So they took a best offer. Here's one that went sold for 346. So they are definitely correct that these Thai teeny chasers are definitely a bolo. Um, it looks like they are the glitter eyes. So they kind of look like a beanie boo. I don't know if they're considered beanie boos or not. They're calling them teeny chasers. So if you see these, this little looks like a little fish. 199 on that one. Wow. Definitely, definitely be on the lookout for these little guys. Absolutely crazy. This one says Ireland. So maybe they're from um, just different countries. Not sure. Here is another tie, and uh, I know in my Facebook group, there's always this huge drama about these. I mean, people are just outright mean to people when they post about Beanie Babies, but there are still some that go for big money. So um, when people are asking in the Facebook group, if you don't have something nice to say in the comments, please just scroll. Um, if you have something to contribute, please do that because there are a lot of people that are still interested in trying to figure out which Thai Beanie Babies are worth money. Now, this one is authenticated. So it does have this authenticity. Oh, I can't say that word. Um, it does have this right here. So that probably helped increase the value. This is the clubby no pen emblem tie. So I don't know. Um, it's missing its emblem. So that makes it worth more money, I guess. This sold for $415 plus shipping. This is a winter Bigfoot Squishmallow. If you see this guy, definitely look him up. Um, looks like it's a bolo, sold for $400 plus shipping. This is a Build-A-Bear Yokohama Japan Bear. Um, there was another one that sold for even more. I did see one over on eBay, but it did not sell for as much. Um, there was a blue one like this on eBay that sold for $75. This one sold for $380, and it looks like it's not even stuffed. 
um, unstuffed and can be restuffed. So yeah, this is not even stuffed and it sold for 380, sold on eBay for 75. If you're not on Mercari, you guys, you need to think about getting on Mercari, especially if you're selling plush. I have a referral link down below. You can use that. When you join with that referral link, you're going to get $10 to shop. And then once you sell $100 worth of stuff, Mercari is going to give you another $20 to spend on Mercari. So that's 30 bucks of free money that you can take that money and buy something on Mercari and resell it and make even more money. So just a fun little idea, or you can buy something nice for yourself. This is a Brina the Bigfoot. This is only a five inch plush, five inch, five inches, guys. It's a little one. Um, Australia exclusive. This one sold for $365. So again, these are exclusive to countries, exclusive to stores. Um, so they're harder to find, but they sell for more money because of that. So it's important to know what to look for. Even if you watch this and you think I'm never going to find that, at least you know about it because otherwise you may walk right past it. This is the Beanie Boos. I did a whole video on Beanie Boos to look for. Uh, there are quite a few that go for big money like this one. This is the Arctic Fox. This is a Walgreens exclusive. If you find this fox, he goes for big money. He goes, I believe, for more on Mercari than he does for eBay. Now, uh, this one sold for $260 plus shipping. There are other Beanie Boos that go for big money. Definitely check out that video I did. You are going to be shocked. It's just crazy. Odo the Squishmallow Clip. You guys, this is a three and a half inch clip. It sold for $85. Um, it's a, again, a Walgreens exclusive from 2021. It was listed on 531 of 22 and sold on 610. So it took less than a month to sell. It's just absolutely crazy. Um, you got to look these things up and knowledge is power, right? This is another tie. This is Merlin the dragon. Very rare. He sold for 65 bucks. Now, is this crazy money? No, but $65 for a tie. Um, and these are at the Goodwill bins all the time. So I want to know about this dragon because I would love to find one at the bins and sell it for 65. This is also a Walgreens exclusive. This is a vintage true heart care bear. It's a UK exclusive. So again, we're talking about um, an exclusive to another country, which is increasing the value of this item. Um, it is from 1986, so it's very old. Sold for $225. Here's another one, a UK European Sea Friends Bear. It's only six inches big. 1983, this one sold for $125. So just because they're not Care Bears from here, if you can find the ones from the UK, it looks like those are a big money bolo. This one kind of caught me off guard. It's a Pottery Barn Kids Beanbag Lane Black Cat plush stuffed animal with orange eyes. It's new old stock. It's from Pottery Barn. So look everything up, I guess, is the moral of the story. But Pottery Barn Kids is definitely something that you want to look up. Uh, this one sold for 113 plus shipping. And I don't know why it says, why it came up with exclusive. Um, Hard to find exclusive, soft and fluffy. Maybe they don't normally sell this type of thing. I, I don't know why they have exclusive in the comments, but I'm glad they did because I did not know about that. Here's another vintage UK exclusive Dalmatian Popples plush. Popples in general are a bolo. Uh, this one is pretty cool. It's from the UK. It's white and it looks pretty good for being white. I don't know if you sell a lot of plush, but a lot of times plush when it's white, it has a tendency to turn yellow. Um, so this one is a UK exclusive popple sold for $110. This one I have never seen and I love it. Look at this tail. Um, they probably should have cleaned it because it looks like it's full of hair. That's kind of kind of weird. Um, I, yeah, I, I don't know. I guess I would just leave the hair there. Uh, this is what it looks like. It's got a little mirror here. Uh, 1989. It's called Exclusive Brush of Loves. It's a plush stuffed bear. It says Matchbox 1989. 
Um, it says that it is in poor condition with many flaws. So this person is like, I am not even messing with it, selling it sold as is. Um, her fur is marled. She has ma marks staining on her mirrored paw. The lettering on the other paw is peeling off and partially missing. She has marks and dirt and discoloration throughout, especially staining on her pink foot paws. Her brush portion has a ton of lint and fur caught in it. Her tuft of hair is knotted and, fr and frizzy, and her tush tag has a ton of wear. I love this seller. You want to know why? Because they gave you every single detail of what is wrong with this thing. Now, could they have cleaned it up a little and maybe got more money? Possibly, but you know, I have a tendency to do the, the same thing and I just note the flaws. But this is a Matchbox exclusive sold for 105 plus shipping. The next item is this Disney Robin Hood Barney plush lot. So this looks like uh, they put together, this one's kind of not really relevant, but one thing that you can do on Poshmark is bundle. And let's talk about bundling on, I said Poshmark again. I'm sorry, you guys. Let's talk about bundling on Mercari. So they have started this new feature where people can bundle. But what I am hearing is, is that when people are bundling, it's not giving um, accurate weights. So if that happens to you, I would recommend that you reach out to Mercari and tell them and do not use the label that they give you because if it says that it weighs eight ounces and it really weighs two pounds, that is no longer a first class package. The person that is receiving the item could have postage due. Um, and that's not going to look good on you. They're going to be unhappy about that. And that's just bad, bad, bad. Now, on Mercari's end, I've heard this from multiple people in the Facebook group that this is happening. I have not had anybody bundle yet. I thought I would, but I haven't. So um, I can't tell you from firsthand experience whether I've had an issue or not, but please check your labels, make sure the weight is correct. Um, actually, somebody reached out to me on Instagram personally and they're like, I don't know what to do. And I'm like, I would message Mercari. So I never followed up to see what they found out. I probably should have. Um, maybe I will do that and talk about it in a future video. But this is a Robin Hood and Barney plush lot. So somebody asked to bundle. And instead of the new bundling system that they have, they just went ahead and created the bundle and reserved it for the person. So these three plush went for $93. And uh, let's see, limited edition uh, Peter Pan suit, it looks like. So I don't know what made that. Um, special but decent price 93 bucks for three plush is great i think this is a jumbo vintage animal alley golden retriever uh the animal alley i do believe comes from toys r us uh so these are exclusive to toys r us if you don't know yep toys r us toys r us went out of business i think it went out of business everywhere uh you guys can let me know i know it went out of business in our area but this is a big old jumbo plush and this sold for a hundred dollars and listed 528 of 22 and sold on 65. So it sold really quick. Um, one thing that people like to buy is animals that look like their animals. Uh, so I did do a plush video on realistic animals. Definitely check that out because I think some of those will really surprise you. But definitely the bigger plush. I know they are such a pain to ship but they do sell for more money. So if you see them and you can get them for a good price, definitely consider it. Um, I just recently sold a jumbo plush. I got it from the Goodwill bins. There were two of them. And I was like, I'm not getting it. It's too big. I don't want to mess with it. I'm not getting it. And I kept thinking, I can sell that. I know I can sell it. And the really big plush, um, they don't do it by weight at our bins. They do it by a set price. So I knew I was going to get it for a good price and I sold it for over a hundred dollars. And I just had an offer on the second one, but it was an international sale and they were questioning the shipping. So, um, it was international, but they wanted it to ship to, I think Georgia. So I don't know what was going on. So I declined the offer and just put in, when I declined it, I said, um, you need to figure out how to get it to ship to the US if that's what you want it to do. I don't know if they're shipping it to someone. I have no idea, but I don't know how to figure that out for them. So yes, I would have loved to have accepted an offer over $100 for the item, 
but I'm also a patient reseller and I know someone's going to buy it. And they did kind of send me a lower offer probably because they know they're going to have customs fees and stuff like that. So, um, I'm glad I ended up picking up these huge jumbo plush that everybody passed by. So stay tuned for that in a future video. It'll be in a Goodwill Bins video. It'll be in my What Sold video. Uh, just an awesome bolo. Super excited. All right, you guys, how about you write bolo down in the comments? Because I think I just said bolo like 25 times in a row. And hey, let's just fill the comments with the word bolo. Thank you guys so much for being here. Check out another video. There's going to be one popping up here and here and a subscribe and one down below and thanks for watching tell me how you found the channel after you write the word bolo have a great night everyone or day or night night have a great night thanks for watching